once in my life somewhere. Yeah. Right here. So really quick haul. <laughs> we got more bread. More bread. Mm -hmm. That we meant to get last time. Yeah. More chips. Kids love pirate booty. Yep. We got avocados because I saw these and I immediately thought guacamole and we haven't had guacamole in a long time. We got Hershey chocolate syrup for chocolate mm -hmm. milk. More English muffins for mommy, <laughs> and gum. more gum. And then from Walmart, we got Phoebe some presents for her birthday. She picked up baby doll stuff. Baby doll stuff, stroller, and baby doll, pack and, play. and pack and play. And then we got mommy some bird seeds. And bird worms. Bird worms. Bird seed. <laughs> They're worms. They're called meal worms. Oil change stuff, and Despite mommy's, I told him to put it not away. Not wanting to, is five dollars. I wanted to buy her a camisole that actually fit her. Can I? Hello, can I? I got a juice. We all, me, Ty, Phoebe got juicy drop pop. Not right now. Juicy when we get home. Hey. Uh oh, Daddy, can I it just. No. So that's what we did. This time, can I ride with Daddy? No, because he doesn't have a five point for you. Okay, so I. Ordered these a oh, week or more ago. What is this? That's your history. Show, hey, show them. I got our history book, but I got it. It's a tape. Um, yeah, I got it on tape so that we can and listen to it in the car. This is uh, the teacher. That's the level one, so that's Brooke. I got first language lessons for the well trained mind. Is this level um, three? I know why. And that is level Level three. one, first grade, level three, third grade. Why does that say workbook and this says not? Okay, so yes, these are right. This one just does more copy work and narration and stuff. I'm having, I got these because I hated, um, I got these because I hated the language that we the English writing whatever that we were in, I did not like it. I did not see the point in it. Of course, you know, grammar and stuff was never my strong point anyway, but so I need to find something that I am okay teaching and I didn't like what we had, so I got those. So we'll try those. That's the nice thing about home schooling is you can try something and if you don't like it, you can change it. Okay, we are home. I and making guacamole because John saw guac John saw avocados and was like, I really want guacamole. And he... No, I just started. What? Are you speaking bad languages? Um so I'm making guacamole. He is changing the oil in the car. He is changing the oils in the vehicles. So he's got that up right now. He's going to do that. And the kids went to the park. Brooke is supposed to be grounded, but I lost my willpower. I just, just go, just go. So, but then after this, I'll have to bring them home and do some more school. But that's what I like about this is we can go and we can come back and do school and go and come back and do school. So, this is what I'm doing. Except I'm kind of sad because we don't have any cilantro. 
and that's what makes it good. So you guys heard me mention earlier about getting the oil change stuff. So I am going to change the oil in the van first, and then I will change the oil in the Honda after that. And just to show you real quick, as you guys can see up under here, right there is the oil drain plug. And then over there, you see the filter. So I'm gonna drain all the oil out of it, take the filter off, replace both of those. And then up here, right here is where the, where I put the oil in. So once I drain it, I will fill it back up and just to make sure to keep regular maintenance on both cars. Okay, so remember back when, when we went grocery shopping and we got these true, we got the true lemon and the true lime packets for my stuff? Well, I don't have any lime juice. And I usually use lime essential oil because you can just put a couple, like two, like two drops of lime essential oil from Young Living in your guacamole and that makes it amazing. But I'm gonna try these and because it says taste of one wedge. So maybe two or three or four of these in my guacamole. I'm afraid to do any more because you know, oh maybe I could do this one. You know when you get avocados from like Costco and they're not ripe? These were the ripest we could find and they're not even like totally ripe yet. So I'm, but they're riper than the other ones were, but I'm afraid to add another one. But I feel like I need to. I feel like that's too much tomato. So maybe I'll add this one because this one has a little bit of a squish to it. So, and the chew lime. We're experimenting today. Let me show you what I'm doing here. So, got the oil drip pan underneath. And as you guys can see right there, I'm letting the oil drip into the oil pan. I've taken the oil filter out from right here and I'm letting it drip, let all the oil drain out of it into the other side of the pan. And there's the filter right there. So they're just about done. So I'll replace the drain plug, which is this little guy right here will screw into there and then I'll put the new oil filter in there and then we will refill the oil and the top of the engine. I ended up adding another avocado to it to make it a little more avocado-y. Good. Very good. Do you want to know what I use for the lime? Essential oils? No. No? I tried these. Oh, cool. Usually I do the essential oil. <laughs> Is it good? I don't know. You tell me. Mm hmm. Yep. Ready? Can't bite me. You want to try some guacamole? You want to try a bite? Want to try a bite? Come here. Come get a bite. Come get a bite. It's on a oh. chip. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> Come here, Pierce. <laughs> you didn't see that face. Didn't even get it in his mouth. You must have got something. Try it again. Come here. to have another kid that likes guacamole. Mm -hmm. Ice cream, ice cream, guacamole. <laughs> oh God, it's good. I am done with 
changing the oil in the van. So the end product looks like that. So you can see the drain plug that I replaced and then the new filter that I screwed in. And then up top here, I just got done adding oil in there and I use this funnel so that I don't drip everywhere. Now it's time to switch to uh, change the oil in the Honda. Okay, so I'm gonna give you guys a couple little tips for keeping your guacamole green if you have to save it. So if it's in a bowl, you put it in the smallest container possible, and this is pretty good. And you leave, you actually leave the seeds. See that seed? You actually leave the seeds in it. I don't know why, it just helps. I don't know like chemically why though. So you leave the seeds in it, and then you cover it with, you cover it, I have press wrap, but it should work just as good, as long as it works. You get a bigger piece of um, saran wrap, press wrap, whatever you usually cover your stuff with, and you actually push it down onto your guacamole like that and then you push it onto the edges so basically you're trying to push all the air out from on top of your guacamole like that and then hmm except I don't know where my bowl lids are these bowls usually have lids but I don't know where they are so I can't show you right now but that's okay because John and I will probably eat the rest of this tonight anyway but um you do that, you push the saran wrap, cling wrap, press and seal, whatever you have onto it and get all the air, see like there was an air bubble, get all the air bubbles out, make sure it's touching the surface and then put the lid on it as well. And it will stay green for a little longer, like, I mean like overnight. It might get a little brown on top, but you just scrape that off and whatever's left underneath is still green. But usually, it's still good the next day. And then, you know, guacamole does not last. Now I have the Honda up on the ramps. And I'll show you real quick what the underside of it looks like. Because it's a little bit different than the van. The oil pan is over on the other side on this one. And the oil filter is up in there. So it takes a little bit more getting to to get the oil filter out, but it works. So we'll get this one changed just like we did the other one. Guacamole does not last very long in our house, so I never have to worry about it over 24 hours. Um, but yeah, that's how I keep my guacamole green in the fridge. So, um, we'll probably be eating this for dinner. We'll probably just have chips and salsa for dinner and the kids will probably have like refried beans and melted cheese maybe. I don't know. I'm about midway through changing the oil in the Honda and as you can see, we're watching oil drip. I have changed the filter and put the new filter in like I did on the van and got that done so as soon as the oil gets done dripping we will replace the drain plug and fill it back up with oil I think he's showing her how to set her watch I am all done. Got both of them changed. Took me maybe an hour and a half. 
or so for to get them both done and got the oil and the filters that I needed from Walmart so it's nice to be able to get both of them done on my own and I like upkeeping the cars like that so I can keep track of uh, where they are with uh, needing the maintenance done so that's it for oil changes I tell you what I am very lucky to have a guy that does that I mean just he's not a normal guy like I don't know he does things for me he does things around the house he is always hey you're being very loud <laughs> he's sitting back here <laughs> I don't know he's always interactive with the kids he plays with them he teaches them things I just I think I'm very lucky to have John the way that he is because it's not just about work and sleep for him like it sounds like it is for a lot of other law enforcement he actually is still very very family oriented and I actually I'm trying to get him to go out like find you know go out with the guys <laughs> make some friends because I just it's not he's so he's such an extrovert that he doesn't need to be with us all the time especially with me as crazy as I am so but he says I will eventually so I think I'm very lucky to have a family man that's that's so loving to all of us. Mm -hmm. Tyron and I are now headed to one of our local auto parts stores to drop off the oil, the used oil, and to get some oil change stickers to put on the car so we know when they need to be changed next. God, he's out back there. Out back there. We bought some bird seed, as you saw. And I'm going to fill our bird feeders. All right, so to wrap up my portion of this video today, just wanted to end it with showing you how I keep track of the mileage and when the oil needs to be changed next so as you can see on there I keep an oil change sticker on there and current mileage is right there and I keep up in here the oil change date that it needs for the next one and by keeping it up inside the mirror it allows me to be able to keep it from fading or anything like that. So that is uh, my portion of what I did today, and we'll talk to you guys later. I never use this one. Okay, that one's the worms. Mm, worms, the worms. Oh, I want to see those. Hey, why isn't it standing up? Just because it doesn't. Can I feel the worms? Feel them? Oh, yes. Watch out.
Okay, delicious. Carry this one. Don't go anywhere with it. Don't pull, no, don't hold it by its lid yet. Yep. Come on, Ty, will you get the one with the worms in it carefully? Yep. 